Chump. Mr. Kennedy here, as if I needed an introduction. Just calling to say that the word on the street is that Teddy Long made a match for us tonight on SmackDown. Look, I got no problem with you, but it seems like T. Lowe's doing you some sort of favor by putting you in the ring with a legend in the making like myself. I guess maybe he owes you a favor or something? Anyway, I know you're going to go out there and do your thing, and I'm going to go out there and do my thing. Just stay out of my way until the bell rings. Try not to embarrass yourself, and I'll try to go on easy on you after that. Ciao, fella. Mr. Kevin. And the opponent, who has no chance whatsoever of victory here tonight, he hails from some inbred village of mentally deficient hicks. Born to parents who happen to be first cousins. He perpetually struggles with personal hygiene. Oh, what's he doing? I love Mr. Kennedy's introductions. Kennedy! Well, I don't think anyone's ever interrupted Mr. Kennedy quite like that before. But if you ask me, it's a long time coming. way to the ring, the latest victim of the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, a man who deserves everything he's about to get tonight, a superstar who, as it turns out, isn't much of a star at all. I give you what's his name? What's his name? Can you believe this? Mr. Kennedy's organizing a mugging of Mark Henry's opponent. What is Kennedy doing? He's calling for the timekeeper's bell. Oh my God! Kennedy almost took his head off. That's my boy. You understand? You mess with Kennedy, you mess with me. Now do you see? Now do you see what happens when you disrespect me? Now do you realize that you are insignificant next to Mr. Kennedy? Kennedy! Mr. Holla, 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 player. I hope you've recovered from Ken Kennedy's attack last week. I know you probably want a piece of Mr. Kennedy, but I'm not sending you out there without some backup because I don't want you to take any chances with your neck and throat injuries. So tonight, you and your partner are going to team up to take on Kennedy and Mark Henry in a tag team match. Go get them, player, and good luck. Kennedy's going for the mic. Shh, listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, take a good look at the two men making their way to the ring because this will be the last time you see them in one piece. One of them is obviously too stubborn to quit, and the other one is too stupid to mind his own business. Either way, they're about to get an education from Mr. Kennedy! Kennedy! Hey, all right. 
Mr. Kennedy's here after all, Cole. But look at him. He looks to be uh, kind of in rough shape. I've got this, Ken. I'll do it. Give me the damn mic. Last week, I was the victim of an assault. Oh. Well, let me tell you, the man who did this is going to pay tonight. That's right. He's gonna pay. Mark Henry's gonna... Nobody does that to me. Nobody does that to... Mr. Mr. Henry! Look, you idiot! Just stand here and be quiet like the Neanderthal that you are. And when it's time for you to do something, I'll tell you. seen a superstar go through one. Tonight, SmackDown's going to bring down the house in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz and Ringside. You got that right, Cole. I'll tell you what, man. I am so pumped up and amped up. I can't wait. Neither can I, Taz. And I'm sure these Salt Lake fans can either. So let's get this show on the road. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. Well, what do you want, Cole? You want to say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. What a reversal. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. around too much longer. The HBK is going to stand for has-been kid. I don't think Shawn Michaels is ever going to be a has-been task. He looks as good today as he ever did. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claimed to be completely objective task. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. Going up the turnbuckle hurts a heck of a lot less. You know, instead of showboating to the fans, maybe you should really keep your head to this match. Come on, Taz. You're looking at a superstar who can beat off the crowd and use that energy to win the match. Gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Paul? These are WWE superstars for fun in that level. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. Yeah, sure ain't, Paul. And these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. Superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Paul. Why don't you just let me train you? You have to be crazy. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? He anticipated that move perfectly. This has been a great match so far. I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You really got to watch out for the opponent when they get fired up like this. Here it is, Taz. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. I'll tell you what, if his opponent's got a brain in his head, he'll get the heck out of there. word evil slightly. That's all that comes to mind when I look at Mark Henry 
in the delight it takes to destroy his fellow superstars. Evil is just a word that low lander, low life losers like you, and you're also a two face, used to. Look at this. No fear on the face of this superstar. Yeah, that 50 cents will get you a couple of points. He can talk all he wants, Cole, but once he's lost the match, this guy's gonna wish that he spent more time going up his opponent. I think you're wrong about that, Taz. I think this is going to make this victory tonight that much sweeter. Intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now. I've been looking forward to this match all night long, Paul. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you have that kind of hype, it's really tough to live up to the expectations. But these superstars ain't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, Cole, you know what? Try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this bad boy right down the middle. Talk about a man who's done it all in this business. You don't have to look any further than the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is definitely a legend. He's been in this business for a very long time and has been extremely successful. But you know what? I'm not surprised that Michaels has stuck with Raw because I do doubt that he could keep up with some of the young pups we have on SmackDown. You're not seriously suggesting that HBK couldn't be competitive on SmackDown. But this is Shawn Michaels we're talking about. Hey, all I'm saying is that ever since SmackDown and Raw became separate brands, we ain't man. This crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. And he's feeding off that energy right now. When you oh, boy, that's using your head. Well, maybe it's your opponent's head anyway. Face first, right into the announce table. And that's going to take its toll, believe me. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Paul. Thanks a lot, Taz. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a podcast. You know what you should do, girl pants? You should...
like we've got some crazy stuff going on here tonight. Listen, during your tables match, Ken Kennedy came into my office and told me that he wants you and Mark Henry this Sunday at Armageddon. Now, that sounds like a money match to me, player. And I'm sure your feelings won't be hurt if you get another chance to put your hands on him. So I'm gonna make it happen. You feel me? I'll, uh... like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. Chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easy to set the up. He wasted no time going for that pin. He was one step ahead on that one. Mark Henry is one of the most terrifying individuals to set foot in the WWE. Seriously injure someone. Here's the pin. This could be it. Michael's getting up there, Cole. You know what? If he sticks around too much longer, the HBK's going to stand for has been hit. I don't think Sean Michaels is ever going to be a half man. There's the cover. Can he do it? This guy might not have enough to kick out. 